Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Are you trying to migrate your contacts list from your old device to your new iPhone? In this video, I will recommend the three best ways to transfer your data, whether your new iPhone is already set up or not. Let's go. To transfer your contact list from one iPhone to another, you can export it directly from your device and share it instantly using AirDrop. This method is wireless, and you don't even have to be signed in to the same Apple ID as the source device. First, open the control center on your new iPhone. Navigate to the AirDrop panel and set it to Everyone for 10 minutes to allow receiving files. On your old iPhone, go to Contacts and open the List tab. Here, you can decide to share a specific contact list on individual storage, such as your iCloud or Gmail or simply press hold all contacts to transfer all directories stored on your device. Click Export. Choose AirDrop. And select your new device name as the recipient. While on your new iPhone, wait for the receiving panel to appear and click Accept once prompted. Click Add All Contacts and accept the following prompts to import the shared contacts to your device. If you're trying to migrate your contacts to another iPhone that is signed in with the same Apple ID, you can easily sync them with iCloud. For this to work, make sure iCloud Contacts is enabled on both devices. Check the configurations in your settings and tap your name above. Go to the iCloud menu, tap Show All, and look for the Contacts toggle. When enabled, your contact list is always synced to the cloud for seamless access across devices. On your new iPhone, sign in with the same Apple ID as your old device and check if iCloud Contacts is activated as well. After checking, open the Contacts app. By default, all contacts stored in the cloud should appear here after you sign in. But if there's a sync delay, press and hold your name at the top drag it down, and release it when your contact list refreshes. Another alternative is to simply use a third-party tool to transfer your data hassle-free. This is especially helpful for those who also have had trouble transferring data like photos or music between their iPhone and Windows PC. To try it out, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation on your computer. The first step is to back up your contacts to your computer so you can restore them to your new iPhone later. On the program's dashboard, open the Acquire Backup from Device and iCloud panel and go to Backup Device. Then connect your old iPhone to your computer and see to it that you're using an original or MFI certified cable to ensure that data can be successfully transferred between the two devices. When prompted, click the Trust button and enter your iPhone's device passcode to confirm the connection. Once your device is connected and recognized, set the backup mode to select one or more data types, choose Contacts Only, and click the Backup button to start the process. Please note that the backup may take a while depending on the amount of data you have. After the backup is complete, disconnect your old iPhone from your computer. Next, proceed to the Restore Backup to Device window. Choose the backup file from the list and click Next to continue. This time, connect your new iPhone to your computer using your original or MFI certified cable. Note that you must disable Find My and iCloud contacts on your iPhone for the transfer to work properly. Open Settings. Tap your name above and go to Find My. Toggle it off and confirm by entering your Apple ID password. Next, go to the iCloud configuration page. Tap Show All and uncheck Contacts. Since you don't need any other data, go to Restore Partial Backup and choose the data type Contacts. Click the Directly Restore button to confirm your selection and select Merge to immediately begin transferring your contact list to your new iPhone and merging it with your existing data. Once the restore is complete and your new iPhone has restarted, it should contain the data from your old device. 
Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.